and it's a rise and shine boxing yoga. Uh, our session is sponsored by Lucas 8 Sport. Make sure that you've got water with you and there's uh, nothing really more that we need during our session. And uh, try to focus, like for people that come in for the first time, try to focus more on breathing and why we're going to, to a specific pose instead of trying to, to reach like really far or, or go deep. Yeah, your, your body knows where you can go. So focus on breathing and then let uh, your body do whatever uh, your body is able to do today. Okay, we start from warming up rounds. Then we still carry on uh, with balance work. Your feet keep width apart, soft knees, and just start from bending your knees, just up and down. No more. Then you can add some shoulder rolls, making sure that our chest is nice and open. Okay, arms backwards, forwards, and we're still warming up our ankles, our knees. And arms alternatively. So we are like really soft, so we add this torso rotation as well. And from side to side. Okay, I think we're ready to start. Take a breath in, bend your knees, reach up. Breathe out through the guard. Breathe in again. And out one more time. Slow, smooth, and nice one. And out. Right hand to the back. Follow your hands. Take a breath in. Return. And the left. So this first rep is like really slow. Breathe in. Then speed up a bit. Breathe out. Right foot back. Soft knees. Left jump. Right cross, left hook, right leg to the side, and down. Bend your knees, come back to the front, take a breath in. And out guard, left leg back, lunge, strong legs, reach, clench, roll your shoulders back and down, and take a breath in. And out, hands down, right leg to the back, bend your elbows all the way down. So we're dropping your chest, sorry, I will fix that screen in a moment. And then chest up. Come back down again. Move through your forearms, elbows, knees. Tuck your toes. Push your hips up. Downward dog. Arms and back nice and straight. Legs slightly bent. And walk your feet up and down. So keep pushing one heel down. Just one at a time. But yeah, as I said at the beginning, we're not forcing anything. So yeah, we're still having... Nice forming, nice stretch, but yeah, not forcing. Carry on. Okay, bend your knee to look forward, jump or step back to the front, slowly come back up. So why are we slowly rolling? Your chin is close to your chest and head is on the end. It's the last bit that is going up. Take a breath in. And out guard. And again, breathe in. And breathe out. Left arm to the back. Breathe in. Follow your hands. And right. Take a breath in. And now come back. Both arms. Breathe in. And breathe out guard. Left foot back. Right jump, left cross, right hook, left leg to the side, and down. Yeah, so like kind of squat. We wave back to the front, take a breath in, out guard, right leg back, strong leg there. Yeah, reach, clench, roll your shoulders back and down, take a breath in, breathe out, hands down, left leg back. Yeah, so now you can sit this bit, bend your elbows all the way down, and chest up. Come back down again, move through your forearms, elbows, knees, tuck your toes, push your hips up, 
Yeah, downward dog, and we walk our feet up and down. Yeah, keep moving your feet. Don't force, like really, like you don't have, your heel doesn't have to touch the floor. Yes. Keep breathing, guys. A few more. Yeah, and we're focusing on our um, back and arms alignment. Okay, bend your knees, look forward, step or jump back to the front. Now we speed up a bit. So take a breath in and out, guard. And again, breathe in and out, right arm to the back. And left, and both take a breath in. And out guard, right foot back, left jump, right cross, left to right leg to the side, and down, way back to the floor, and take a breath in. Out guard, left leg back, reach to length, roll your shoulders back and down, and take a breath in, reach your arms up, breathe out, hands down, right leg back, all the way down, bend your elbows, and kick up. Come back down, forearms, elbows, knees, back your toes, hips up, downward dog, and this time we move our feet faster. So like, let's say very little jog, but we still adding a little push down with our heels. Yeah, and remember about your breathing. So this workout, while we're trying to um, regulate our breathing, it's like good maybe for people that get some issues. Uh, during daily activities, yeah, and it's hard to catch a breath. So, like during our 40, 30 minutes, please like really focus on this, on practicing our breathing. So each time we're changing some uh, poses, you go, you're going into one pose, you're taking breathing, you're changing your breath out. Okay, bend your knees, look forward, jump or step back to the front. And one more time, take a breath in. Breathe out guard, and again, breathe in and out, left, arm to the back, breathe in, and out, and the right, and both, breathe in, breathe out, left, back, right, jump, left, cross, right, hip, left leg to the side, and down, way back to the front, take a breathe in, breathe out, and right leg back, reach, clench, roll your shoulders back and down, and take a breathe in, Breathe out, hands down, left leg back, bend your elbows all the way down, and chest up. Come back down, move through your forearms, elbows, knees, pack your toes, push your hips up, down your dog, back up nice and straight, and your legs having light jog, yeah, with a little push uh, down of your heel. Carry on a few more. Then we've got one more round, need to rest, and we carry on. Okay, bend your knees, look forward, jump or step back to the front and breathe in. Breathe out guard, heels on the floor, both heels, and we're going down. Yeah, try to keep the balance. Three, two, one, and return. Four, three. Two, one, down, excellent. Left leg, lift it up, reach your right hand forward and twist your left side. So try to imagine there's a, let's say, resistant band or an arrow, anything, and you're trying to extend it, yeah? And try to avoid opening the hips. So we're not going anywhere to the side. Hips are nice and squared. And our rotator cuff, these muscles, yeah, on the top, they are twisting. So you're trying to reach this right arm as far as you can with this side. So you should really feel your shoulder blades, muscles that, that are around them. And your standing leg can be slightly bent, yeah? There's no need to lock that knee. Control the balance with right foot and body is long. So we're going up, yeah? Thread on the top of your head, 
and it's pulling us up. So like we're growing this body. That is tight very often, very often because of work that we're doing. We spend lots of time doing something on that on the computer. So now wants to grow it back. Yes, hold it. And slowly relax for the set. So now we change side. And for the second time, we will be holding it even for longer. Breathe in. And out guard. Heels off the floor. And down. Four. Back nice and straight. Three. Two. One. And return. Four. Three. Two. One. Heels down. Right leg off the floor. He is bent. Reach your left hand forward to, to right side and hold it again. So always on this side, I'm feeling that I'm really going with that left to the side. So bring it back and then correct your posture. And remember, body is long, yeah? So don't, I mean, like, don't lift your face or anything. It's like you're trying to, you know, push this body, like, away from the floor towards the ceiling and hold it. A few more seconds, guys. A few more breaks in and out. And relax. Okay. Two more rest. Then we can have a rest. Breathe in. And out guard. Heels of the floor and down. Four, three, two. One and return four, three, two, one. Heels down, left leg of the floor, reach your right hand forward, twist your left side again, try to not to open your hip, keep it nice and square, and we're rotating our shoulders. Yeah, we want to give this attention to our rotated half muscles. The second round now, yeah, it's a bit longer. Keep breathing, you can pop it, you can find one point to look at this, to focus at anything. Maybe there's a dot on your wall, or maybe there's a tree behind your window, something. Just look at this, and it should help you to keep that balance. Long body, keen breathing. Two more seconds. And slowly release one more time. So look at our rest. Take a breath in. Leave out guard, heels off the floor, and bend your knees for four, three, two, one, and return four, three, two, one. Heels down, right leg off the floor, reach your left hand forward and twist your right side. If you're opening your hip like me, take it back. Yes, yeah? so try to you know use your torso, rotate it back to the front. And then we just here, we're just extending our arm and shoulder. All this. We still got about 20 seconds in this pose. Five, keep breathing, four, three, two, one, and relax. Shake it, take that tension, and you've got about 30 seconds, then you carry on. Grab a sip of water. And then I think that next week we're going to 
change. Uh, we come back to our core stability and maybe we add some strength work. So we do some lunges, hold and stuff like this. Okay, time to come back. You can, you know, correct your posture before we go. So few shoulder rolls. All right, excellent. Take a breathe in, nice one. <laughs> breathe out through the guard and then arms by your side, hands open like this. You can spread your fingers, yeah? Really release that tension, yeah? All right, left leg again. Lift it up and this time you start taking it slowly to the back. Yeah, and your chest is like almost parallel to the floor and we fold it. If your mat is super big, maybe it, it can disturb your balance, yeah? So stand on the floor, yeah? My mat uh, isn't that bad, so... Uh, but yeah, if some mats are like really thick and it's not helpful because it's soft and your foot needs to fight with it. So for any poses like that, it's better to stand on the floor. So yeah, if you struggle with the balance, it's much easier to, to do this on the floor. Hold it. Yeah, and like no need to lift it, you know, to go super low with your head, lift your legs. So we're trying to go to the point where it's kind of tabletop. Yeah, so our, our leg, one leg is thin and the rest making up a table. Hold it, we're still there. If you for the first time, it's like you think it's it's crazy. Find some base of support. Yeah, you can grab something with your head, make it help yourself a bit. Or if you have something on behind you, touch your big toe to this. Yeah, or maybe the whole side of your body you can touch. All right, slowly release. Shake it. We change our leg. Take a breath in. And out through the guard, arms by your side, hands open, fingers spreading to the side, and then the right leg off the floor, take it to the back, foot forward. Again, if you struggle, try to stand on the floor. If it's still really hard, find some base of support. That's fine. Yeah, we practice it. And we keep breathing, of course. We still keep thinking about this. Not that, like, don't, don't try to, to stress your body too much and holding this breath. Try to, you know, breathe in and out smoothly. Ten more seconds. And relax. Okay, shake it. We're gonna repeat both both legs uh, one more time. Then we've got our relaxation bit. Okay, take a breath in. Out, bring it through the guard. Arms by your side. Hands open. Left leg off the floor. Take it to the back. As same as before. And if you want to challenge yourself a bit, you can circle your arms. Around, take them to the front. So now we've got this long line, long tabletop. Yeah, it's optional. So it's like, yeah, if it's too much, go down to this. Keep breathing. Strong sending leg, but still don't lock your knee because I think like, with lock knee, it's like, um, it's not comfortable. It may be a bit painful when we finish. So it's better to leave this little bend and control the balance with your core. You really need to engage your core and your right foot. Almost there. And relax slowly one more time. Okay, breathe in. Move out through the guard, 
arms by your side, hands open to the front, right leg of the floor. Take it to the back, take your time, and you're folding forward. Yeah, when you've got this and you feel, okay, I can do more today, circle your arms around and reach forward. Hold it. Just a few more seconds of this torture. Strong body, core engaged, so the stomach is zipped. And relax. Okay, nice. Knees down, bend the tabletop, cross your legs behind you, push that body to the back and cross your legs in front and on your back and find your best relaxation uh, position. So your arm can be just, you know, drop by your side, maybe hands open to the ceilings, or you can place it on your stomach. Yeah, give some attention to your stomach. Maybe you want to interlock your fingers. So whenever you want, yeah, whatever, maybe like just throw your arms up from so find something that feels really nice, that you can really relax. And for newbies, what we do, uh, we relaxing our, we try to relax our muscles, our our mind to prepare for the day, uh, starting from the bottom of the feet to the top of your head. Um, yeah, and remember, there is no any religious or believing stuff. It's just you know we've got this workout and now relaxation. Sometimes I can see that. Uh, but some people resigning from the last bit. Yeah, maybe they think they, they can't do this, but we're just relaxing. Don't, we're not uh, connecting it with anything else. Okay, from the bottom, and you can close your eyes. Much easier uh, to relax. From the bottom, think about your feet. That carrying you for the whole day long, anywhere you want to walk. Give them your attention and relax. After a nice and relaxed feet, we move a bit up and relax our ankles. Relax your shins. Relax your calves. And relax your knees. Oh, there's on your knees, there's always lots of impact, yeah? Your knees need to absorb all this shock while be moving. So give them like this moment for your knees to feel nice. Stay nice and relax. And relax your thighs all around, yeah? Remember, it's like big part of your body, strong. Your quads, hamstrings, abductors, and adductors. Everything nice and relaxed now. Relax your hips. And we're still breathing, yeah? It doesn't have to be like really deep breathing, just normal. Relax your glutes. And relax your stomach. Breathing, guys. Relax your lower back. Oh, this bit is like tense very often. Now give this attention and really relax it. Relax your upper back. Relax your shoulders. Yeah, so we work on this area a lot today while when we've been doing this extension when we've been twisting our rotator cuff. So now your shoulders completely relaxed and your arms, elbows, 
relax your forearms, wrists, and hands. And we're tr gonna travel again from your hands through your wrists. Nice and relaxed forearms, elbows, arms, and shoulders. And relax your chest. Relax your neck. And relax your head, back of it. Let it really soak wherever you lay down. Relax the top of your head. And your beautiful face starting from your forehead. Your eyebrows. Relax your eyes. Temples. Ears. Relax your cheeks. Relax your nose. Take a breath in. Breathe out. Relax your lips and your chin. Keep breathing. I leave you there for a short moment so you stay with yourself. Just try to stay in this uh, nice feeling. Don't, don't think too much. Eh? You will think later about uh, your task for, for today. Now just there's just you. And I'll be back in, in a few seconds. Okay, and if you're ready, start bringing your body to a little gentle movement, starting from your ankles. Yeah, so your feet nice circles, different directions, or you can bring your toes towards you and away. Then we do same thing with your wrists. So you can, you can try with some nice circles, or maybe like bringing your fingers towards you and away. It feels nice. Okay, and your toes, squeeze them in, really squeeze your toes, and then spread out, open that foot. And same with fingers, squeeze it in. You can imagine a soft ball, but you can really squeeze and open, squeeze and open, few more. And relax, bring your knees towards your chest to both knees, yeah? And give them a nice hug. From here, your head is nice and relaxed. And we massage our lower back. So gentle rocking from side to side. Oh, that feels really nice. Feel more. Okay, and one bigger rock to your right side. The left hand's going down. Using this hand, push that body uh, back to seated. Uh, position and thank you very much guys uh, well done uh, great job today have a beautiful day and uh, yeah seeing you next week thank you so much have a yeah lovely day and the weekend too bye bye
Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you so much.